So today I'm visiting the brand new Cursed Coconut Club. It is a Mardi Gras themed club. It is on the upstairs portion of City Walk. It's the same space that was used for the Dead Coconut Club and the Red and Green Coconut for Christmas. Now what's cool about this place is that they actually used an old prop from the scare zone last year, the Graveyard Deadly Unrest Scare Zone. As you can see, the outside of the Cursed Coconut is the actual graveyard prop, which is very, very cool. Cute little throwback to the event. And on the right side of the Cursed Coconut is the Cursed Coconut Market, a little gift shop right next door. And here is the Cursed Coconut t-shirt. Now this one glows in the dark, which is super cool. I actually love this so much. The colors are very neon and so fun, the little voodoo dolls. And over here are the monster tiki mugs for $55. There's the louder, wilder, spicier t-shirts with the matching crossbody bag. Now this crossbody bag is running at $34 plus tax. Very cute. Here's me, hi, just hanging out. And here's some more t-shirts and tank tops for Mardi Gras. I love all the fun colors this year and the masks are very cool too. These are running for $20, some cool designs. And again, this gift shop is right next door to the Cursed Coconut Club. And here is this Halloween theme Mardi Gras shirt. I love the pumpkin. I'm a huge Halloween fan, so this is perfect. And here's this skeleton with the wine glass and the mask. Some more fun headbands and accessories. If you wanna bling out for Mardi Gras, which is so fun. And here are the matching king and queen shirts and king and queen hoodies. And these are at $60, I believe. And here's some Bourbon Street coin pouches and some more New Orleans things with these very fun hats. I actually love these sparkle hats. Some more headbands and lays to wear and these cute little hats down here. And some more king and queen shirts with the skeleton, kind of edgy. And I just love this backdrop of the Cursed Coconut Club. This design is incredible. It's so vibrant so colorful and it's perfect for the event this year and here are the famous mardi gras beads they are running for three for fifteen dollars here are the lanyards and some glow necklaces and i actually just spotted this purse this year with the gator i love this here's some more glasses event mugs king of the bayou with the gator this design is so cool this year Here's the Mardi Gras Carnival 2023 with the mask running for $15. Here's the matching hoodie. It's kind of like a purple acid wash. And this famous drink holder, freestyle drink holder. These are running at $17. They're very popular, so don't wait. Get them fast. The freestyle tumblers to put in your drink holder. Some hats earrings and these earrings are between 10 and 20 dollars and here's a famous mardi gras wing back sweater and this i believe is a king cake but i'm not positive so interesting here's some fun mardi gras pins put on your backpack or lanyard and i I actually love the designs this year, and this one is $11. Here's some Mardi Gras magnets, pack of two. And again, the pack of pins were in a four pack, and these magnets are two pack. And these are $14. And when you do purchase the freestyle tumbler, you can drink all day for free. It is $29. And here's some fun designs on the cup. The gator and the moon and this jester. I just love that the design this year is colorful, vibrant, so fun. So I'm walking inside the Cursed Coconut Club and I see this skeleton voodoo chair on the right hand side with these spooky candles and these skulls. Very Halloween Horror Nights reminiscent. I know it's not, but I just love anything spooky, so it's perfect for me.
cute thing with the skeleton. Hi. And here's some more skulls, skeletons, candles, some spooky things. And again, it reminds me so much of Halloween. I know it's not Halloween season because it's like Valentine's Day time, but I don't know. It just, it feels very like macabre aesthetic, which I love. Here's this cool mask. Love her. And these skeletons kind of dancing on the walls back here. And there are these booths to sit down and have a drink and have some food. It's a fun little flame to add to the effects, the atmosphere. I just kind of wanted to pan around the room and just kind of give you guys a look. I just want to give huge props to the creative team because the set design here is immaculate. It's incredible. The theming here is spot on to Mardi Gras, to the voodoo theme. It encapsulates this so well and I just feel like very voodoo, very spooky vibes in here, which is perfect. Even the floor has some cool designs on it too. And again, this is on the upper level of City Walk. So if you head up the escalator, it's gonna be on the left-hand side, right past the Moe's and Burger King area. So you definitely don't wanna miss it. It's definitely a great experience if you wanna to get to the Mardi Gras feel, to start your night. And the music in here is actually so awesome too. It feels like you're transported right into the heart of New Orleans and you can sing and dance and have a great time before you even enter the park. And here's the Cursed Coconut Club shirt again in the black light. It does glow in the dark. Here's a look at the bar back here. It's gonna be on the right hand side when you walk in the doors. Here's another look of the club. The ambiance is very spooky and I keep saying that word, but it truly is. It's very voodoo themed in here. Some fun little lights towards the entrance, these tiki guys. I love these guys, they're so fun. Here's a great little photo op. If you walk inside to the left, it's going to be this room, kind of by the second bar location in here. And here's this lady and she's holding up a lantern. I kind of love her. Looks very um, macabre in here. It's this creepy little doll, which I thought was <laughs> so funny and great because Halloween Horror Nights is a few months away, but you know, there's always little throwbacks to that in here. And here's this couch you can kind of sit on and have this photo op experience, which is fun. But I just love this little creepy section over here. I think it's so cool, it's fascinating. And I love anything horror or Halloween themed, of course, if you know me. And if you don't know me, that's a fact about me. So, <laughs> This little candelabra on the left here is one of my favorite parts about this. Here's this fun little lantern in this mirror. I'm saying hi again to hi everyone. And walking back outside, another look at some details of the graveyard prop from last year's scare zone. And I miss the Halloween Horror Nights fog. I keep talking about it, but I miss the fog so much. This little piece of Horror Nights will always be with me for the Mardi Gras season, the fog the best so hopefully you guys enjoyed my tour of the cursed coconut club it's definitely an experience you don't want to miss especially if you're visiting the park for mardi gras and you kind of want to stop in city walk and have a drink and hang out with some friends or even after the park too it is open until midnight hopefully you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys later